Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I literally don't have a reason for today's video. I just felt like turning on my camera and talking. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, just you can get out and I'll eventually have another haul at some point. Um, so I forget what the last update I gave you guys with my ex was, but the last time I reached out was September 18th. Today is October 16th. Um, and never, ever, ever got anything back in return. Um, so, so I, the internet was still in my name there. I wasn't paying for it, but I, it was in my name. The account was in my name. So, maybe I'm a bitch, and I'm okay with that, but I turned the internet off. I didn't tell her. And today was the day it got shut off, and I haven't heard anything so far. And even if I do, I'm not going to be answering, because she knows how much those dogs mean to me. And the fact that she can just so easily take them away from me, not cool. Not cool at all. It's so fucked up. And the fact that she owes me money, the fact that she was saying about how we should get back together like two to three weeks prior to all of everything that went down. Just a shitty situation overall. And don't mind my nails. Two of them popped off today, but they're supposed to look like this. <laughs> Um, anyway. <laughs> um, now I forget what I was saying. <laughs> Just a shitty situation overall for any anyone to do to someone. Because she knows how much those dogs mean to me. This last weekend, <clears throat> today's Sunday, this past weekend, um, I went away on a trip, a vacation, if you will, to uh, um, a campground. Wow, that looks really weird. Um, a campground with a bunch of my old co-workers. We had a little reunion, and it was, oh my gosh, it was so needed, um, and it was so peaceful and relaxing and you know we just had some drinks and talked and just good time good time overall it was very much needed I was starting to get like burnout or something so got a little recharge and ready to go definitely needs to happen more often though and next weekend I'll be uh, my mom's. I'll be at my mom's. Um, I have apple dumplings to pick up for coworkers, and I'll be there the weekend. My niece should be there. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be picking up my nephew or not. Which, that is a whole other mess, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, yeah. So, I definitely am feeling good about being single. Like, I feel like I finally reached that point of acceptance. Yes, it still sucks. Some days, some... It hits me at night, but it still sucks. Um, when I want to talk to someone about my day, like, I don't really have anybody to do that with. Um, so, it sucks in that aspect, but at the same time, like, there's no drama. There's, like, I don't feel like I owe my time to anybody. Um, there's no one around here to really do anything with anyway. Um, but I just, I'm okay with it. Like, it's okay to be single. And that was a big thing growing up when I was a teenager. 
And even my young 20s, well, my early 20s, I shouldn't say, <laughs> my early 20s, I'm only 29, um, that I couldn't grasp. Because growing up, like, I was shown that, um, you know, you just to always be in a relationship. And that's what my mindset was, was that, like, if I wasn't in a relationship, then that just meant I was doomed or, like, I, I didn't have a purpose or you know, whatever along those lines. So to come to the realization that it's okay to be single, I feel like has made amazing growth for me personally. But also the other day, so this one day, this girl texted me the same day that she started talking to me, she wanted to meet up. Now I'm sure there's someone out there that would be cool with that. Whatever. I am not one of them. Um, I want to get to know you. Like, I want to, like, learn something about you before I just, you know, meet up. Um, and this girl didn't like that. I said, you know, how do I know you're not a serial killer? And she got offended, which was a red flag already. Plus, wanting to meet the same day was a red flag for me. Um, and I told her, I had told her, that I have really bad anxiety and like she says that she gets it but then obviously you don't because you kept pushing so clearly you don't understand so she got mad and she said you know what just forget it whatever so then a week or two maybe even three no I think it was like two weeks go by and I get a random text from her wanting to meet up again and it's like what did you not understand the first time but so I explained again, like, I am really not comfortable. Like, I, I want to get to know you better before I would do that. So we did talk. Um, you know, I got to know parts of her. Um, but she never stopped trying to meet up. So, and I, again, I kept explaining, like, I have really bad anxiety. Like, meeting up isn't something I can just do on a whim. And again, she claims that she understood, but clearly it didn't. Um, so anyway, my point of the story is she basically got upset that I, that I didn't have feelings for her is what it comes down to. And I, I said to her, um, when we first started talk, like really talking, I explained to you, like, I'm just here for whatever happens. Like, if if it's just a fuck, it's a fuck. If it's just to meet up, or, I mean, if it's just um, friendship, then it's just friendship. If, it's, if it turns into something, great. If not, great. I explained that to her whenever we first started talking. Um, and then she wanted to be a little smartass and write back about how, yeah, why would you want to date someone when you can just fuck someone? And just being really disrespectful and rude and whatever. So I blocked her on Snapchat and then I texted her and I said, you know what? I'll be damned if you're going to start to try and make me feel guilty for saying how I feel, basically, is what I said. And I said, you know what? Have a nice life. Peace. And then I blocked her number. Brianne, who's that? I would never do something like that. So, growth is happening all around. And I see it, and I feel it, and it's great. So, yeah, really random video. Just, I wanted, I just want to talk because I'm waiting. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I'm waiting in the Burger King parking lot because I want lunch, not breakfast. So, and there's the yellow jacket. Um,. <laughs> So I'm just going to end this here. Um, if you are watching, still watching, thank you for listening. What is this car doing? Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one.